Alrighty YouTube, figured it's time to make a video. Uh, I tried to make one last night, but it failed. So I uh, figured I'd do one tonight. It's a good thing I did wait until today because, as you can see, we got ourselves a nice, clean shop. Yep, we're cleaning this out. Gonna be doing a barn sale soon, plus the fact it's just dirty and whatnot, so. Plus it'll kind of test the uh, low light function or ability of this camera. I wouldn't say this is the lowest of lighting, but it, uh, I think what I'm seeing on the uh, little viewfinder here is brighter than what uh, I'm actually seeing in person. So, there you go. Uh, so as you can see, shop's pretty well cleaned out. Um, got the yellow truck uh, kicked outside for the time being because I think Mike's actually going to drive it a little bit. There it is, sitting right there. Just got to... Uh, back from refueling that truck so and the ranger so plus I figured today would be a good video to or day yeah good day to take a video before the hot weather came back in the next couple days as you can see I mounted the plow on the suburban um and uh, you saw from the dirt video um the only thing I really need to do is look at this lift setup because I definitely don't have clearance. It looks like it's sitting there getting crooked too. So, yeah, definitely you're going to have to do something about the crookedness of this situation. Uh, yeah. So, but the plow, oh, I put my seat cover back on too. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull that off right now because I don't know about you guys. I think that look about I think that looks better like that. So, but yeah, plows on. I'm going to like put some new uh hardware and stuff on it. Um just to make the lift work better. I do have the turning rods. They are sitting right over here. There they are. I got the turning rods right there. I just uh, didn't bother to install them because I'm probably going to be taking this plow back off here within a couple of days. Plus I got a tractor show to take this uh, Sears to so um, I don't think this one is going to be going and that one isn't really, this one really isn't mine, this is Mike's. So, but yeah all the tractors are running good. I, uh, the GT18 I'm having a little issue with the, uh, the deck. Um, I, as you can see, I disconnected the belt and just kind of tucked it up in here for the time being. I don't really know if this is the greatest idea, but, um, the issue I would have is when this is, you know, obviously connected and whatnot, the, uh, I think the problem is in the little, uh, take this back up in here. I think the problem I'm having is in this little slide thing here. I believe that's sticking. So, other than that, it's running good. Um, 216, still haven't really bothered to uh, fix the tensioner spring on that one just because we've been using this one, and this one mows really good. So, yeah, it's been kind of taking the place of the uh, John Deere. So, and I'm getting notifications and stuff. But I figured I'd do some startups while I'm in here. Actually, you know, or I do some startups. I shall go open the door so I don't uh, completely asphyxiate myself in here. Open up the door. Go ahead and shove this propane tank in front of it. So I can start them up. Go ahead and start from the back and work our way up. Let me remind you that these aren't really, you know, cold, cold starts because they were all run today. Give her a little choke. So that's not running, that's running pretty good. Just the deck isn't functioning. Uh, go ahead and fire this one up.
the idle, I honestly can't get it perfect, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is and call it a day. But uh, besides that, it's running really good. And now I'll go ahead and turn the fuel on this guy and uh, fire it up. So that thing's running really good, which is awesome. I love having good running tractors that can stay running. You know, just uh, you just got to keep up with the maintenance on them. Like uh, these guys are getting due for some oil changes, so I'll probably do those here soon. Probably after the show, maybe. I'd really like to get them in before. So I have to pick up some uh, 30 weight. But I think that's pretty much it. Been grilling a lot this year, so the grill's definitely been getting getting its uses and it's working really good. In fact, we're going to be using it tonight to probably cook up some some hot dogs. Maybe not, I don't know. We'll see. And this Cummin or the Cummins still hasn't been touched. We got tires to put on it, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much been like this for quite a while. Still with the head off. Head's right there somewhere. I should take it a little easy on that. But uh, yeah, the barn sale's coming up, so I don't know what we're gonna be. I don't know, I don't know if there's gonna be any videos of that, but uh, keep an eye out. I'm going to the uh, Dover Steam Show here soon, so probably be taking this guy and uh, the SS16, and I don't think I'll leave this guy home and uh, keep it in lawn mowing service. Just got to remember to hook the belt back up. The deck still functions perfectly fine. I just, uh, with that slide sticking or whatever's going on, I just, uh, since it would disengage all the way, I uh, almost overheated that thing. So uh, just to prevent uh, anything bad from happening, I disconnected the belt and the pulley cover is over in the toolbox. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video off. I'll talk to you guys later and uh, that's pretty much it from here. See ya.